Hello everyone, this is Paul from OrthoEvalPal, and recently we did a little video on Hallux Rigidus, where the big toe just had a lot of discomfort going back. If you missed that video, I will leave that link in this video today, so you'll see it come through here in just a bit. Um, but today I thought I would talk a little bit about how do we best treat Hallux Rigidus, or you know, anytime you have pain when the big toe goes back or when the toes go back like this. So if you are the type of person who um, maybe you're a carpenter and you work on roofs a lot and your feet go in this position because you are in that direction going up a roof um, and this is very painful for long periods of time or maybe you're laying floors or maybe you just like to walk and every time that shoe bends at the toe it causes you pain in the forefoot area you know right in here there is a way to try to manage this so there's a couple ways actually and you know when you try to treat it conservatively which everybody should try at first just to see how well you do um, you know that may be the way to start and so one thing you can simply do is prevent the shoe from bending like this okay so you can either get a shoe like a hoka or an mbt shoe that has a rounded bottom that is stiff and doesn't bend very easily there or you can add something like a carbon plate. This is a carbon fiber uh, plate and these work really, really well. The nice thing about the, these plates is that they're very, very thin so they don't take up a lot of room inside the shoe. I typically will take out the insole like this and slide this in the shoe. Now remember, you cannot get this the same size as the insole because as you can see with the insole, when we put it in there, it's flexible and it can go in really easily. Whereas the carbon plate is not very flexible. So it's really hard to push down there. Now this one is too long for my shoe, but I would typically get one that is a little undersized. It's best if this part of the plate is in the front part of the shoe. If there's a little gap in the back, that's quite all right because we're not worried about the back part of the shoe bending, okay? So that's one way I would treat Hallux Rigidus. So you put that plate underneath the insole, slide that into the shoe. Now, one of the things that I've been doing lately is using a custom orthotic such as this and having a carbon plate put in right in this area, right here where that big toe is. This is usually where we have the problem. So a Typical orthotic would bend quite easily right here, okay? Whereas this one will not. Because the plate is there, it will not fold in that spot. Uh, the gentleman who actually uses this orthotic, uh, th this is his second one. Uh, his previous one was about three or four years old and just can't go without it. Uh, and was very, very limited with his ambulation and his gait because that big toe was giving him a lot of trouble. When he wears this, um, he's actually trouble free and is able to walk much more and be much more active. Um, so, and even if you're that type of person who does do a lot of kneeling and that toe is bending a lot, you can always add the little piece of carbon plate like this. Now, I have a company that I work with um, who actually custom makes these for me, so it works really well. Uh, I like doing that into the custom orthotic because I also like to give better arch support and I also like to cup the heel and you know level things out a little bit. So it's really a nice added piece. Doesn't add really any weight to the orthotic, uh, to be honest with you, because we take this bottom blue stuff out to put that in there and really no heavier than uh, a typical one would be. So again, if you're trying to prevent this excessive bending at the toes like this, carbon plate works well and also adding a little carbon plate like this underneath an orthotic can be really helpful. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and um, we are going to keep bringing more content like this to help you solve problems. Thanks.